Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I took a day and went antiquing. So I started my day off with the second time they hosted an estate sale for the same person. Actually, there's gonna be another one next weekend. So three estate sales for one person. So he was an antique dealer forever. So he had semi trailers full of antiques, though this time it wasn't it wasn't the ironstone haul that I had gotten at the first one on day three, but I was still pretty happy with some of the salvage finds I came home with. And I'm like, you know, I'm already out and about. I'm half hour away from home. Yeah, I'm a morning person when it comes to starting projects. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to see what other antique stores are near. So I hit that town's antique stores. And then I had a couple other in Clinton, Michigan, that I'm like, well, how far could that be? 45 minutes away. And then one had closed. That happens. And then I, so I hit a couple in Brooklyn, Michigan. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make, make a day of antiquing to see if I could find anything to flip and resell and make a profit or anything that I can make over for you all on the other channel. So do you want to see what's in all these yummy... <laughs> All these yummy bags oh my goodness there's yeah yeah I, I like paper bags so let me unpack it and then we will take a look to see what I found so you have to love fall weather you start your morning off here in Michigan and you're all wrapped up because it's like 50 degrees and you're cold <laughs> and then uh, by 10 o'clock you're sweating to death you're like i put too many clothes on it's like that layering season y'all so you're just like oh i'm too hot but i i yeah i can't can't change your clothes you can take the layers off but you can't change your clothes and you know what i'm just going to unpack the boxes or the bags right on camera why not why not so first off i'll share with you this yummy rolling pin so is this a pasta maker y'all i don't remember necessarily but i love the red handles and i love the uniqueness of it being a rolling pin absolutely a fun find because <laughs> you know your eyes drawn to what your eyes drawn to a set of juggling weight pins i think these are the exercise pins because they have the weight on them a set i'm so excited to have a set and as excited as i am for those i'm even more excited for this find <gasps> I am an ironstone pitcher though i'm not keeping them for myself i'm starting to resell so Yes, I do have some of them in my booth. It could use a bath, it looks like. But yes, it's it's just a nice iron stone, nice size pitcher. I love that unique handle on it. I love the detail that they put into it. So I believe... Oh, I thought the bag was empty, but the bag is not empty. <laughs> Hold on. I must have been sticking with the rolling pin theme. <laughs> so two little mini rolling pins. I cannot wait to start putting little vignettes together for Christmas time for you all. And then I found this little bag of mushrooms. I'm like, it'll just be nice to have in my stash if I'm going to create, you know, I just did those little shadow boxes with the foxes from, what was that called, Glenn? Anyway, <laughs> the, trans, the transfers from IOD, I'm like, I need some mini mushrooms to have on hand. So right out is a little scoop. Oh, I love the galvanized, the age of it. You can put a candle, you can put some pit berries, or you can put it sideways, put it in the vignette. There's so many options, and usually these are priced high for what they are. So I'm happy when I find them that I can, I can pick them up. I have to unwrap for you all. <gasps> Look at it. It is actually, it's a metal. It's not a solid metal, but it is a metal sheep. I think it's too big to go with my set. I don't necessarily want to paint it, but it is a nice metal sheep. And so like antique stores, what they do is they pull the tags off to keep them um, for their inventory. So yeah, I was, 
That's why it has the cute little, <laughs> it looks like a cute little ribbon around it. So I just thought this little resin star was too cute. I love the homespun fabric on it in black. So yet again, I love to have stuff in my stash to be able to make little vignettes out of for y'all. And I cannot believe I found another one of these pictures. This may be the fourth picture. It is a Two's Company. No, I am wrong. This looks like a Two's Company, but this is not. This is not. I know my hair. I've got so hot today. Um, it is actually a W.M. Adams and Son picture. So I thought it was a Two's Company, but no, I'm, I was wrong. I think I just sold a bigger version of this. So this is like... I think I have sold a small and then a large, and so this would be like the medium, the medium. So that's pretty cool. Oh, love it. It's funny because some people that resell don't see the white as we all, as those of us who collect ironstone see the white. So this was another antique store. I remember somebody asking me, I have a little, I think it's toast or letters or something that I put little plates in and somebody asked me to be on the lookout for one of these. So I picked this up. It was actually in somebody's clearance bin. So I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I will try to remember to pop that on eBay just in case I, I'm so bad about remembering all the time <laughs> who's is who's. Now this piece, I just, I don't even know what it was for, but it's got the red, it's got the black, it had metal numbers on it. I don't know what it was for, but what a cool decor piece. I, I love wood, metal, oh, just, it's just a cool piece. Oh, somebody had a swan, so you know I had to pick up the swan. <laughs> so I wish there was two, because I think swans like to be together. I thought this little butter mold was super cute. They had another one that I left behind because it was just the wheat, but I liked the cow. I definitely liked the cow on that one. And then let's see. Oh, this was just a single napkin ring holder and it says best wishes, but look at the little birdie. It, it would be nice to have friends, but the little birdie on his own is just a cute shelf sitter. You can stick some florals in there, or you can stick a napkin in there. Just do with it what you want, but I, I love that aged metal. I'm not sure if it's pewter or not. And then I saw this set of brass swans. Oh, are they not? See, I said they need to have a friend. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be looking for another friend for that one. So yes, a set of brass swans. And I have a wood problem. I love wood. I don't even know what these are for. I don't know. I don't care. I just think they'd make great risers. Like right now you can stick pumpkins on top of them with some greenery. How cute would that be? A set of three matching ones. Way awesome. I think they had them down like as kids toys or something on the tag. And then I saw this like butter scoop but I love that angle on it. I love that patina, the age. And usually these have been priced up. Butter scoops um, have been priced like in the 20s lately. So yeah, that was crazy. This was not apparently because that came home with me. And then I saw this for a minimal amount. I'm like, really? That's all that is? A little horse? Oh my gosh, I can see putting like the steel, the metal and wood um, stirrups that I just had and making a little vignette because that's like the same color as the metal. My mind's always a going. So I did find some butter pats. I found this just a single one. It's got the green. So this would be like if you had the all white ones, the green ones would be next because it's that chunky iron stone. And then I found this set of butter pats. These are square but they do have a design on them, almost like a holly maybe. I'm not really sure what that greenery is, 
but it's just a nice little square set sitting on your shelf. So I thought that it was a great price and I'm like, I passed them and I passed them again and I passed them and I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab them because I keep, I keep looking at them. I don't know about you all because I usually like to do, like when you go thrifting, I like to do twice around. <laughs> Even at the estate sale, I'm doing twice around. <laughs> like, let me go take my stuff out to the car and make another round just in case I forgot anything. Now, I thought this little picture was sweet with a little girl. The corner is a little, yeah, you know, but you can set something in front of that. But she has a little lamb. Oh my gosh, I thought it was, you know that it has some age to it. And it's raised. Can you see how that's raised? I think that's really, really neat. Just a sweet little girl and her little lamb. So sweet. Um, I ran a little, a little aged bread tin. Love to, I love to have these. So if I get creative and in the mood of making vignettes, this is nice to have on standby. I found another little scoop though. This one doesn't quite have the patina, but I have Dixie Belle's patina. So I, yeah, I could patina this one. I thought this was a great find. This is actually a signed piece. So it's just a nice little wooden tray bowl. You know, you can stick stuff in it. Pumpkins right now, we're in the season of pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkins. But yeah, I really, I like, especially when it's signed. Like if you spend all this time doing it, sign your work. You know, <laughs> I had to if they were priced just right, little little beaters. And as I say, I, some people don't see ironstone like I see ironstone. So here is like a like a relish dish or a spoon rest. I have a spoon rest similar to this, and it is um, Syracuse Syracuse anyway. But yeah, it's a nice little spoon rest, or you could use it for a relish dish or you can just use it as a shelf sitter, which I do a lot of mine. And then another little picture. This is Santa Clara Ironstone little picture. You know, I love that y'all are liking buying these on eBay because I love looking for them. And I love the thought that I, I can still look for them and knowing that I, I possibly can't fit <laughs> anymore into the three hutches that I have. So I really appreciate y'all let, letting me do this. Now, I don't usually pick up a lot of the soup trains, but it's that same ironstone and everything was with it. So it even had the spoon and then it had the lid. So it's a nice smaller piece because a lot of times, like this is more like a gravy boat, you know, a lot of times those soup ones are huge. And so that's hard to fit into your hutches and stuff like that but I thought this was a very nice size. I did pick up, I love these old crockery bowls. I love this size, this is a great size. So if you have a small one or a large one, this is a, this is a great size. So two of the antique stores I stopped at today, I have never been at. I kind of Googled since that one was closed. I'm like, okay, antique stores near my location. And that's when it took me to Brooklyn. Now we've been at an auction before, that um, we've seen the gentleman that owns one of the Brooklyn ones, but I've never been there. So that being said, I did find some good, I did find some goodies. First off, I found a red scale. Oh, I, I try not to pick up scales, but I just love them so. And so I'm trying to be picky. And then this one was red. So I'm trying to like, if they're unique colors, I've never had a red one. Ever. So I thought that, so this one is a Columbia family scale. I love that red, love it. I've never seen a red one. And then there was a booth that had pieces and parts in it. So this is like missing its lantern, but I thought, okay, you are, you're crying for a makeover. <laughs> I can make you into something. I was excited about that piece. I think the same, that same booth had some little shoes because I'm going to do a craft with these little shoes for minimal because a lot of times you'll see those little shoes and they're like $20, $30. And I'm like, yeah, I can't make a craft out of that. And then she had some blocks. She, they had some blocks for minimal and then another bread tray. I love, I always like these. I wonder if these were supposed to go in like a container. I don't know, but it has those little, the weaving to it. And then a little grater 
could use those on a project I just did because I was looking for smaller ones. A single, a single stirrup. Oh, it's funny how you find, your eyes just drawn to what your eyes drawn to. I found, uh, I don't know if this is like a soap dish in this pattern. I have a few people that collect this pattern. So I thought, I, it's got some good crazing going on on it, but it's a beautiful Meekin piece. Beautiful. And then I could not believe, could not believe I found two of these. Sometimes I don't know if people know what they have. Two, two minis, two mini little butter molds. Oh, and one is a pineapple, one is like the wheat. It's got that beautiful color on it. Oh my gosh, I could not believe I found two of these. And then just like the butter molds, I'm like, really, is that the price on these old pair of glasses? Old pair of spectacles, spectacles in the case. They're old and they were like a few bucks. So uh, that's what I always say, you know, if you're a reseller, you know, or if you have the capability and you're trying to decorate your house, don't underestimate an antique store because you see high prices on certain things. There are treasures to be found. You just have to have the time to look for them. So I thought that was a great find because usually these are good money. So I'm finally getting to the state sale. So I said, I love wood. They didn't really have anything priced. They just kind of made up price up minimal when you got to so I think these are really cool shelf sitters. Some people put their toilet paper or paper towels on them. You know, they just, they look cool. You can, they're sturdy enough. You can rest something against them. You know, you can wrap pit berries around them. They're just a nice wood feature. So I thought this was a cool tin. Why? Because it's handled. Because at first I was like, oh, it's just a rusty, crusty tin. And I, I got to be careful because I collect too many of those. But then I had a handle. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I don't know why. I, there, I don't see it saying anything on it. Um, it's just cool. It's just cool and old and grungy and rusty crusty. So then we had this old little block, which was probably like, probably should have had a knife with that. That might be a magnet. But what a great little riser, cute little riser. I would really probably try to make this one over. The wood is, eh, the wood is, eh. You know, it's not great. You can see some cut marks where they cut. And it's got like a made in China sticker. And I know, yeah, the feet. There was one that fell off. I think, yeah, yeah, all of, one's not loose. <laughs> one out of the four is not loose. So just a great little riser. It'd be fun just to make it over. A box because I need another box. Always need another box. And then I did pick up a pair of brass candlesticks because they were patina. Look at the patina. Oh. And they're ornate. They're ornate. You know, people tend to like that ornate. And that, to me, that patina shows that they're older. So pretty, pretty cool. So the last thing in the bag is a little squirrel cast iron nutcracker because it's a squirrel and it's funny and it's I'm sure it's newer but still what a fun shelf sitter just a fun fun little squirrel fun little squirrel my next grouping all fits into this little aged bump pan oh my gosh how cute is this so this was just like a salvaged piece clean it up get the dirt off of it it's just fun to put in a vignette um, this was a metal, and it's got their, somebody's picture in it, but a metal little round and it sits up. Picture frame, I think that's really cool. Some receipt holders. You know, I could make Christmas trees again at Christmas. I think this is a Dahlia, 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 Dahlia horse. So this is a little mini one. It looks like that shape. Got some keys because, because they were charging like, I think minimal. And that little tiny one, little tiny. And then a whole bunch of flower frogs, the small ones. Oh, so there's one and then this one is square. 
I might have to keep the square one. <laughs> this one's plastic and green, but still cool. This is another little round small one that needs to be toothpicked and get whatever that is out. And then there's another little square one and the cool, cool, cool aged bump pan. So my last little bit were breakable, so I unwrapped them. So my first grab at the estate sale was a Santa mug. It says Barbara on it, but I bet you that it was handwritten. Um, and I should be able to take some acetone to take that off, but still it's a vintage. It doesn't say J Japan or anything, but it is a vintage Santa mug. Look at the blue eyes. It's not a winky, but look at his little eyebrow sticking out there. Now this, this piece of ironstone, this is a Johnson brother. It is crackled crazen, but there are crackled crazen lovers out there for, I mean, it does have like a chip right there so you can see the stone in it. I hate when they write on Sharpies because the older pieces, sometimes they don't, it doesn't come off as well, even with the magic eraser and alcohol and the whole, but so hopefully I can get that off this because this is a cool, crazy piece. Another piece of ironstone was a butter pad. Look at that cute little guy. Um, it's a Meekin piece. So my last time I was there, I did get one of these and it was cracked and they wrote on it, and that's what I was talking about. I couldn't get that off. I could not get, it had, like I had a chip on it and I couldn't get it. I didn't by any means throw it away. It's in my collection where you just see the Meekin. But, but I did find two tiny crock bowls. Oh, are they not cool? And they're not even cracked. Like mine and my collection that I have are all cracked. So other than need a bath. And then some jadeite plates, jadeite, it, it sells. Look at it. So did they stamp it? Is that the age of it? Did they stamp that it? Stamping's kind of interesting on the back of so it. So then I'll take the camera down and show you the biggest, bigger pieces that I got. So it was fun. So I found, I have one of these suitcases in our booth now. So it's nice to have another one so people get the idea that like here, I love mine underneath there. I've had those forever since I thrifted them. So sometimes if you give a visual of how you can use them in your decor, people were like, hey, yeah, let's stack them on top of each other. This little chicken feeder, I thought, you know, this is a nice size. It would be great to put some greenery in it for Christmas, make a little centerpiece. I cannot believe, I, you know, I was like, do I buy it? Do I not? I know the numbers aren't there, but the scale part is there. It all attaches. I think it's cool. I don't know if I, I would like one. I don't know where in our house I would put one, but I would really like one for our own house. I was happy to run across another one of these mirrors. We've sold two of them. So if you flip it, <laughs> if you flip it, and then Chris builds a shelf for it, that's what makes them sellable. It doesn't matter that the mirror has a little bit of age to it by any means. It has the beautiful detail still on it. So you flip these over, people take them off dressers now and they don't use them on the dressers. So it's perfect to put a little shelf on, a beautiful, beautiful decor piece. So I picked up a couple salvaged pieces. I was a little late, another gentleman, <laughs> it was getting the really, I'm like, hold on, I'm trying to dig too. But anyway, I thought this was a cool because it's got the shelf on top of it. Unfortunately, it's like we need probably need to cut these off and then take those nails out just to make it safe. But I would leave the patina as is. This one, I think, if that if that doesn't clean off, I'll probably like do some kind of a mold on there. Maybe I think it would be cool with some type of a mold and some. I like the color though, but I do think the milk paint, the chippy milk paint, would look cool on it. And then cut those off. So I don't know if it went to a dresser, but cut the dowels off. And then look at this massive piece of wood. I mean, it's a shelf all by itself. It, it's solid, it's not, that is a solid piece of wood. Cool piece. Um, the, the mirror was minimal. I, we need like a small mirror for our entryway, so where we hang up our coats. And I don't want anything, I don't want anything taken away from my antiques. So that one needs a lot of help, but it was like nothing. So we'll see if I can clean it up or not. 
a couple really cool frames. Did you see how I put my children's sock stretchers <laughs> in, in my laundry room in one of those long frames? And of course, yes, I'm gonna dig out and pick out a, or, or an oval frame. <laughs> just is beautiful, just sitting next to each other right there. And then this, I don't know if this was a little kid's dresser. It's missing its mirror, but the drawers, <laughs> I'm sure that's not, I'm sure that 150 came off something else. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so the, yeah, so all three drawers work. So I could paint it and fill in the holes. I could leave it as is. It's just a really cool piece. So thank you so much for watching today's thrift haul. This was unexpected. This was an extra. And I just was like, you know what? I'm dressed up. I'm not in paint clothes. And I just, I just want to go shopping and look for stuff. So I'm glad that I did. It was, it was a hike back and forth. But anyway, I absolutely loved it. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I didn't film a lot because I really didn't think I was going to find any treasures, you know, so there's that. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed. So thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.